Carolyn Johnson, chef owner of 80 Thoro in Concord, is known for taking full advantage of fresh produce grown within a mile or two of her upscale restaurant. But in this year of COVID, general manager Ian Calhoun tells us a more casual idea popped up. It's been a hit and I think, you know, we're going to keep going all the way through this year. Cussers, a takeout window from 80 Thoro, serving lobster rolls and sandwiches. What was supposed to be a temporary summer pop-up is now on an extended run, thanks to the popularity of Cussers' version of the famous North Shore roast beef sandwich. Three-way, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and cheese. I'm a South Shore guy, but I gotta hand it to the North Shore roast beef. It's good. Might be even worth the trip to the North Shore or to Concord. 80 Thoro is, as its name suggests, on the street that leads out to the world's most celebrated pond. Here at Walden, that renowned son of Concord, Henry David Thoro, lived simply, and as it turns out, quite famously, for two years, two months, and two days. To this day, Walden Pond continues to draw pilgrims from around the world, offering inspiration to dreamers, environmentalists, social activists, even the occasional business plan. All right, so meet Walden, the name of our first camper van here. Walden Camper Vans, a vehicle for our times. Really, this idea was born out of the need to, to get out and explore in the time of COVID. Mike Patrick and his wife Susie are diehard outdoor enthusiasts, and they were itching to find a way to get back on the road safely. Discovering a camper van gave us that freedom to be able to kind of just start to think about getting out and planning a trip again. And then in the kitchen area, they tricked out a van with cool details and figured this was an idea too good to keep to themselves. Now, Walden Camper Vans has more vehicles in the pipeline, fully outfitted and available for rent. What we love so much about it is this really is a freedom vessel. With a camper van, the adventure is kind of yours to write. No matter where you want to go, if you want to wake up at a ski mountain one day and then on the coast the next day, you can do that, which is really fun. Safe Outdoor Fun is the name of the game at the Back 40 Cafe. We had a subtitle a while back called the Reasonable Risk Cafe because we'd have four or five people over, have our masks on, be distanced, got the patio heaters, got a little cooker over here, make a simple soup stew and hang out you know, by the fire. Who says social life is dead? Not Richard Follander. He and wife Kathy regularly host social gatherings and small musical events in their backyard around a pole barn they once used when they operated a family daycare. I've kind of repurposed it to be a place for families and adults. You know, sort of like adults can play a little bit too. Speaking of playing outside. It's night, it's cold, it's snowy, it's perfect conditions for paddle tennis. Now for some, the idea of climbing into a cage on a snowy night in the 20s might be hard to warm up to. Not for Mark Silver and his gang. In all seriousness, 20 degrees is pretty much the optimum. Below that, it gets a little chilly. I mean, you'll see people get down to their t-shirts in, in weather like this, because you move around a lot in this sport. Paddle tennis, an off-the-wall mix of tennis, squash, and racquetball, where the solid rubber ball can be played off the chicken wire screens. There's a lot of angles, a lot of trigonometry and, and geometry and all that stuff that I don't really remember very well. Julie Klein tells us players at the Heritage Platform Tennis Club must wear masks and keep socially distant. That hardly means the game isn't social. <laughs> Especially with the girls, there's a lot of chit chat. Uh, you know, there's sort of about you know sort of a 20, 80 uh, you know chat to paddle. In fact, the pandemic has made paddle tennis more popular than ever. One of the few ways for friends to get together in these dark days of winter, no matter how cold and snowy. Sometimes it's a little hard to make that first move off the couch. But when you get out here and it's brightly lit and you know you, you see your friends, which is of course such a novelty right now, you'd be surprised. People just make the effort and, and it's always fun and you always get warm. 
Paddle tennis is technically called platform tennis because it's played on raised platforms with heaters underneath that can be turned on to melt away any ice. And yes, paddle tennis is played in the daytime as well, October to April. And back to Cussers, these days fans of those roast beef sandwiches will have to venture a bit beyond Concord to get them. The Concord pop-up has ended, but Cussers now has three outlets in Boston, at Time Out Market, Hub Hall, and in the Back Bay. Still to come, live from Concord, a journalist who's no stranger to celebrity.